Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about mercury poisoning. Mercury is a heavy metal. It is in a liquid state at room temperature. We have many sources of mercury like coal plant, thermometers, automotive switches, volcanic ashes, vaccines, seafoods. In thermometer, we'll, we'll consider the thermometer containing the mercury. Those are the mer mercury thermometers. And vaccine, mercury is present as a preservative to the vaccine content. Okay, so mercury poisoning will go there. And use of mercury, mercury has multiple uses. Manufacture of chlorine and caustic soda electrical equipment, dental amalgam used by the dentist to fill up the hole or gap in case of caries teeth, fluorescent lamp switches, thermostat, topical antiseptic, it was used, used previously, not used nowadays, and in artisan, sunal gold production, folk medicine practiced in many parts of the world, still practiced, religious and cultural rituals. Bioaccumulation, aquatic organism can convert inorganic mercury into organic form with resulting bioaccumulation. So small fish eat big fish. The small fish is eaten by the big fish. Big fish is eaten by the birds. So there will be gradual buildup from small fish to big fish to the bird. Inorganic mercury due to occupational and industrial hazards, consumption of contaminated food. Elemental mercury is poorly absorbed by the GI tract but is volatile and can be absorbed by the lung. Okay, this is an image here. So we are seeing small fish is eaten by the large fish that is eaten by human also by the birds so it will be accumulated in the large fish also accumulate in human body so there is the bioaccumulation there will be methylation demethylation source of mercury we are seeing volcanic eruption from the fossil fuel combustion from the industrial runoff or from the from the housing runoff here okay so there may be flooded soil that may also cause contamination of the water and the fish and there will be bioaccumulation it may be evaporated here again deposited okay there may be dry deposition maybe wet deposition okay this has been image has been taken from microsoft powerpoint online picture creative common Organic mercury is a teratogen. It causes congenital birth defect. Mercury contaminated fish consumption during pregnancy may cause congenital birth defects. Pork become contaminated if pigs eat mercury containing fungicide treated food. What are the features of the congenital birth defects? mental retardation, cervical atrophy, cerebral palsy, seizure, and blindness. We can also add as hearing loss. Once in the human body, mercury acts as a neurotoxin. Okay, it is neurotoxin to the fetus, neurotoxin to the infant, neurotoxin to the adolescent, neurotoxin to the adult and old person, interfering with the brain and nervous system. So what are the symptoms of mercury poisoning? Impairment of peripheral vision, there will be peripheral neuropathy, pain in needle fillings in the hand, feet and around the mouth, lack of coordination of movement, that means incoordinated movement, impaired speech, hearing or walking, muscle weakness and skin rashes, mood swings and neuropsychiatric manifestation, we call it erythism. 
incapacitating or pathological shyness, particularly with that of mercury poisoning. Memory loss and also cognitive loss, there will be dementia, mental retard retardation, mental disturbance, and acrodynia in children at the periphery of the body, the finger, toes, there will be redness, skin rash, in the stomach area, in the abdomen, there will be pain. There will be red color on the cheek area and skin, scaling of the skin. And these are the features of mercury poisoning in children. We call it acrodynia. Mercury controversy and digestions. There are some controversy like thimerosal and multi dose vaccine. These vaccines contain mercury there is thimerosal and idea is that this will protect the content of vaccine so we can from one vial we can we can vaccinate multiple babies or persons okay so it is a preservative for the vaccine content and there are some controversies some people say it may cause autism it can increase the autistic babies there is no concrete support in that complaint. Dental amalgam controversy, again, American Dental Association opposed that idea. Dental amalgam does not cause mercury poisoning. We have some disaster, recorded disaster, Minamata Bay, mercury disaster in Japan, 1950. So, Pedi field was treated with mercury containing fluid that was going to the Minamita Bay and the fish was consumed by the local people. They have developed a lot of symptoms of the mercury poisoning. Plus, the, we got, they got a lot of congenitally defect babies. So this also happened in Iraq in 1972, which contaminated with fungicide. So hundreds of people died and thousands of people are affected due to mercury poisoning. Mercury disaster also found in Faroe Island in North Atlantic. People used to eat the whale meat and they have the manifestation of mercury poisoning. Mad Hatter disease in 1980s, neuropsychiatric problem to the people who used to work in the hat making industry in a close quarter and they used to come in contact with the mercury containing fluid to to make the cap the felt of the cap so they used to develop neuropsychiatric problem that is called mad hatter's disease due to exposure to mercury solution during the process of making the hat also people who used to have that hat they used to on their head they also had the mad hatter's disease. Treatment and prevention of mercury poisoning. Treatment of acute mercury poisoning. First of all, removal from exposure. That is called decontamination. Supportive care. There may be respiratory problem. There may be psychiatric problem. And there may be change in blood pressure. Okay. There may be disturbance in kidney function, heart function, lung function. So it should be everything should be supported. It is a heavy metal. We need chelation therapy with dimer capron, unithal, or succimer. This is very good in case of inorganic mercury poisoning. Hemodialysis may be necessary. Prevention, avoiding seed dressing and fungicide containing mercury avoiding canned food proper disposal of thermometer or other mercury containing item if, if thermometer is broken it should be taken out by by scooping by a hard board it should be placed in the vial and the vial cap should be closed because from one thermometer mercury thermometer broken the mercury all the small amount, but it may be dispersed to the entire air of the 
that room, particular room. So it will be because air pollution. And that's all about the mercury poisoning. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friend. And also I have a book, Toxicology Digest. And this is available in Amazon, both in paper copy as well as electronic copy. If you are interested, you may collect that. And I request everyone to support my channel. Please subscribe me. And have a nice day. Bye now.